Hello. This week we're going to be taking an internet road trip. Okay, so in order to do this, you're going to need to have two things. One is you're going to need to uh, go onto a web browser like this, and you can go to uh, Google Maps is a good uh, website to to use in order to do this okay and just you're gonna be searching and, and using Google Maps alright and the other thing you're gonna need is Microsoft Excel okay and you're gonna be building a spreadsheet a new spreadsheet Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some cells at the top and merge them, merge and center. And I'm going to call this my Internet Road Trip. Okay, the instructions on the website under the assignment link give you some instructions on how to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip to that point and then uh, and then I'm going to show you how to put how to search for some of the information you're going to need and also how to put the equations into the cells but basically you're going to need to have the the basic uh, structure um, the headings and the rows that you're going to need to um, to enter the data in uh, set and I'll show you what that looks like okay here is my spreadsheet all set up with the, the correct headings so I've got the headings across here um, I've got the categories the expense categories down here um, this is going to be an amount spent each day um, which will be a total of the expenses and amount remaining is going to be um, an equation that basically subtracts the amount spent each day from uh, the budgeted amount on an ongoing basis so I'll show you how to line that out I went ahead I have the amount budgeted here for each category in the uh, in column B here and then I went ahead and summed it up I did a sum of uh, of all of the budgeted uh, category items okay and so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go on our our trip here so we're gonna go back to um, our Google Maps okay and let's say I want to take a trip I'm going to go to uh, let's say First, I'm going to go to. Uh, so I'm going to start out in Ontario. Okay, so this is Google Maps. You, you can click on the Get Directions, and then you can put in your starting point. And let's say I want to go to Bend the first day. So I'm going to go on a trip over to see my uh, brother who lives in Eugene. I want to go up to Portland and then come back. Okay, so I'm going to go to Bend the first night. I'm going to stay in Bend. Click on Get Directions here. And it is going to pull up. Uh, what we're going to be looking for is uh, the amount of miles. So it's 269 miles from Ontario to Bend. Okay. And so, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go back here and put that in into the fuel category okay so I'm gonna first put on the because I, I left two rows here right here along each category so on this Friday I'm gonna go ahead and say Ontario to bend okay I've got to adjust my column and uh, Let's see. And then my equation is going to start out with an equal. We always start out with an equal sign. Okay. 
and so we're going to have uh, 269 miles okay and we're going to multiply that by uh, let's see we're going to have to have the uh, miles per gallon uh, so I'm going to actually divide that by the miles per gallon in my car and we'll just say it's 20 okay and then we're going to uh, multiply the amount of gallons so that'll get us the amount of gallons uh, divide the miles by the mile per gallon and that'll get us the amount of gallons and then we're going to multiply that by the price per gallon and we're going to say right around it's right around 380 right now I think is what I filled up uh, with just a day or so ago so and that will give us the price from Ontario to Bend and we can put this all in uh, in currency if we want to go ahead and do that so it'll give us a price okay so we're going to continue on our trip here and we're going to go to uh, let's say we're gonna we want to go to Bend from Bend we're gonna go to um, let's see here so Bend is gonna be our starting point this time and we're gonna go to Eugene okay Eugene Oregon get directions so that's 129 miles Okay, and we can actually build um, maybe some separate rows in here and, and actually record our miles and put them together into the equations. Uh, but I'm just putting them all together in here. Uh, in general, you know, I'm just building the equation off of what I know. So it's been to Eugene. And it's going to be uh, this equation. I can go ahead and... Uh, drag that over here. Uh, it's going to be instead of 269, I'm going to go up here into my equation. I'm going to say it's 129, and that'll give me that. And then the the next uh, trip I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up and around. So this is uh, this is something you can do. You can actually um, add another e a destination in here, so you can have multiple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from Eugene is going to be the beginning. I'm going to go. Let's say I'm going to go to Portland here. Portland, and then I'm going to go to back to Ontario. Okay and get directions there and that is a whopping 485 miles so that'll be a long day of driving I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, Eugene to Portland to Ontario okay and then I can use the same equation Um, and I'm going to slap the, what was that amount? That was 485 is what it was. So I'm going to go ahead and put that amount in here. 485, and that will give me the total gas for that. Okay, so now we've got our mileage uh, set on our spreadsheet here. And now we want to go ahead and uh, do our food lodging. Um, and entertainment here real quick okay so in order to do that we're going to go back to our Google and we can type in like for example bend uh, we can type in bend uh, restaurants restaurants near bend okay and we can also look, we can look at the ratings and some of the different things about the different restaurants uh, near Bend. Um, 
And so let's say I want to do, oh boy, let's see, so many choices. Uh, let's go ahead and do the blacksmith restaurant, the very first one. Okay, so it has its own website. Sometimes it'll actually give um, information about uh, their menu. You can go to their website and check it out. Uh, looks like a pretty fun place. Um, might have to make some reservations there. Um, but we'll go ahead and put that down. We'll say Blacksmith Steakhouse in Bend. Blacksmith Steakhouse. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put down, uh, let's make it easy, $50. So let's just say we're going to spend $50 at each of these restaurants that we're going to go to uh, roughly. And that'll help even things out okay and uh, if I spend too much one day I'll have to maybe adjust for the next day so <laughs> let's see so we're gonna continue on here so I'm gonna be in Eugene and uh, actually I know in Eugene I want to eat um, let's see I actually want to eat pizza when I'm in Eugene so I'm gonna go to track town pizza so I'll go ahead and put that down there track town if I can spell correctly pizza and then Sunday, as I go through Portland, I'm going to grab a bite to eat. So I'll go ahead and put restaurant. Let's do that. Go ahead and do Portland, Oregon, restaurants near Portland. And I uh, definitely want to do a down-to-earth cafe. That would be the best. So I'm going to eat in down-to-earth cafe. Oh, look at that. Great stuff. Very artistic. Okay, so we're going to go back down here. Uh, down-to-earth cafe. All right. And then we're going to do our lodging. You can pick different lodging places um, as you go back through and Google them. Um, I am going to go ahead and fill the rest of these in. You can also pick out your entertainment. Uh, when I go back through actually on let's see, let's see let's say Saturday I'm going to go to um, go to a game so I'm going to stop and go to uh, uh, U of O game on Friday when I'm in Bend I'm going to go uh, mountain biking and, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put the price Maybe there's something I need to pay for here for maybe a lift up the mountain. The game's going to cost me probably more than, well, it'll cost me a bunch of money. And then on Sunday for entertainment, uh, I'm going to be driving a whole lot, so I'm going to go ahead and put NA <laughs> on that. No entertainment that day. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to fill out. Here, I'm going to move this down. I put it in the wrong row. There we go. Then I'm going to fill out the, the lodging here. Um, I'm just going to stay at a courtyard each night. 
I can look up the prices for those as well. So, and they're going to be different probably in in each uh, city. Um, okay, so to get our in order to get our totals, uh, we can do the sum auto sum here. So we put our our uh, selector over in the totals column. We select a cell over there that we want the uh, answer in, the sum in, and we're going to hit auto sum. Okay, we can go ahead and drag that down. These rows don't need anything in them. We can go back and delete it out there. Uh, spent each day is going to be uh, equal. We can add these cells up separately. We don't have to do the auto sum there. And then we can drag that across. Okay, so the tricky one, and then, then we'll get a, a total here as well. We'll drag that down. Okay, so uh, the tricky one here is the amount remaining. So the way it's going to work is we're going to do an equal sign. And then for the first day, it's pretty easy. It's We're just going to do our total budget minus uh, what we've spent so far, right? Okay, so the next one, uh, we're going to not do our total budget. So instead, we're gonna actually going to pick uh, our remaining budget. Okay, so that's what that is right there. And then we're going to subtract um, what we spent that day. Okay. And then with that, we can go ahead and drag that across. Um, adjust our column. Uh, that is not correct. Uh, delete that out. We actually don't need that cell there. So that is actually going to be our total remaining for the entire trip. So, hey, you know we got some leeway there going on. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here uh, one of the the last thing you're gonna need to do for this, which is gonna be to graph the fuel. So I'll come back and we'll sh I'll show you that. Okay, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and graph the fuel. So what we want to do to begin with is we want to select. Uh, the data that we are going to put into the graph. And that is going to be the fuel cost per day along with the locations or the, the trip, the endpoints of where we're going to travel. Okay, so these two uh, rows here and, and cells. And then we're going to go up to insert, look for our charts. We're going to find a pie chart. Okay. Okay, we can select uh, a pie chart, any type of pie chart that we want to use. I think I'm going to go for the for the 3D pie chart here. And we can split it out. We can do different things uh, with our pie chart here with a quick layout. That's kind of nice. It shows the percentages on the pie chart or the amounts. Uh, it breaks it out in different ways. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Uh, we can also go up here to uh, some of the different styles. Okay. So something you're going to want to do after you pick a, one of the styles you're going to want to use is uh, here. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. That's that's a nice one. Okay, you're going to want to edit the title, which is uh, you're going to need to put something in like road uh, road trip fuel. Something like that. And then that will be the final thing that you need to do. And you've got your road trip assignment done. You can go ahead and submit that in the uh, link on Blackboard right here. You're going to submit it right there on the road trip link. Happy uh, road tripping. <laughs>